Yes. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. If you haven't already seen the video on my channel here on this hack RF, you should check it out when I do the AIS receiving for ship locations. If you're not familiar with it, this hack RF is a software defined radio, and this is the porta pack on it, which gives it a touchscreen interface and turns it into a true beast of a unit. It makes it portable to do radio receiving ops anywhere. The Mayhem firmware just takes this thing to the next level. It allows you to do all kinds of receiving and post-processing of signals on the unit with no PC knowledge, no nothing. So we can do radio sons, amateur TV uh, or analog TV, ADSB, AIS. So those, are, those are the ones I've done here on the channel before. ADSB is for aircraft, AIS is for boats. You can do some Bluetooth, low energy, NRF, and then there's also a transmit menu. This is a transceiver. This is what we're gonna do with it though. Check this out. I don't know how I got this lucky. This fell on my in-laws farm. This is a radio song. This is a uh, hung from a weather balloon. This is a QFH antenna for GPS. This is the radio sound sensors. I think we can maybe fix this. It sat in the field for a little bit, but I think we can fix it. And guess what? The Hack RF can receive radio songs. That's going to be a fun video. Story time. This is my Oculus Quest VR headset. This is my ProTube VR, which gives it a little plink plink or the pew pews when I shoot things in VR. And this is my TaxSuit X40. The TaxSuit X40 has 40 haptic drivers in this thing and Bluetooth connects to my headset. It is absolutely incredibly cool. This makes you feel things in VR. This is a 1982 Pontiac Grand Prix. I had one just like this. It was my second car. It was not too bad. Even adjusted to inflation, this cost me less than this. Well, last night with the first snow of the season here, I decided it was time to get the VR headset out, updated its firmware because, well, it made me do so, which in turn broke the connection to that. I had to update the firmware on that, and then it worked again. The ProTube VR worked the whole time, no problem. The problem was when I loaded up Onward, the only game I play, this no longer worked and wouldn't be recognized and didn't do a damn thing. I was sure that this must be some kind of a Bluetooth glitch or something because this system worked just fine and I'd streamed it here on my live channel and somebody's shooting at us. He's down. I had no problem with it in the past. Then I looked at their website for the tax suit. Sure enough, it's listed that it's not compatible with Onward anymore. So I went to the Onward website. It actually listed that they discontinued the support for this and broke it in game. despite both companies using this to sell their product. They've been advertising this, and that's the reason I bought it initially. So then I was left with the Taxi X40 that's completely useless in the only game that I play. I went on their support forum, and the fanboys had the usual to say, oh, it's going to be fixed in a future release. which it does say on the release page for several months now. So I'm left with this completely broken that used to work, which was the only reason I bought the thing. If you're a developer and you issue breaking changes with no way to roll things back, no work around, you're an asshole and may your commits forever be conflicted. I'm left with only one way is to wait for an upgrade on this. And well, I'll wait. I did try to sideload the old APK for Onward and sure enough, it is blocked. The Quest will not allow it whatsoever. I don't know whether it's Onward or the Quest. This is completely useless. But the cool thing is the ProTube VR 
I can still play with tonight. So we'll get into VR later. I'm gonna get back online. It's still snowing and cruddy outside. We'll have a little bit of fun. That was not a fun experience and I'm not happy about that whatsoever. That's a ridiculous amount of money that's now sitting there collecting dust despite the fact that they advertised that was their selling point. Thanks B Haptics and Onward, you're d just about to do a mailbag for uh, patrons. If you want to join me over on Patreon, you can see these too. But something cool arrived as well. Check this out. So PCBWay.com is one of the sponsors of this channel and some new PCBs arrived. You're going to see these in a complete project video coming up. This is my new ESP32 breakout boards that I made. Break out the Lowland ESP32 version to a prototyping area and screw terminals and all kinds of cool stuff. It's a really fun little project, so check that out upcoming on the channel. A pretty cool little haul, but these things are going to be a lot of fun. These ESP32 camera breakouts that we can use with any microcontroller, I think these are going to be a lot of fun. Anyway, join me on Patreon, link down below if you want to see some mailbags, but videos will always be free here. I just had to sneak peek. Check these out. That is just so awesome. PCB way. Good work. Last video on the CNC when I said put your guesses down below how many vlogs before that's finished. Update your guesses. Every time I move stuff further from the bench, it just gets further from ever being done and it's gone to live on the floor. Not a good sign. T800 disapproves.